The Turkish military has sent a convoy that includes tanks to its southern province of Hatay on the border with Syria. Footage shows a group of five tanks loaded onto trucks. A military source says the tanks will be used as reinforcements for Turkish border units. Earlier, it was reported that the military hit several targets belonging to an offshoot of the PKK terror group in Syria's Aleppo province on Saturday. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan issued a warning to terror groups trying to settle along the border. TR2 World's Ahmed al Barai joins us now from Hatay. Ahmed, good to speak to you. We know now that the Turkish military personnel and equipment has been mobilized into Syria overnight. Are we about to see a major offensive, do you think? Well, Sandra, that is a, one of the main options now on the table. Basically, after President Erdogan yesterday reiterated that Turkey would never allow these Kurdish groups that are offshoots of the PKK terror organization here in Turkey to have their independent canton on the borders with Turkey. Now, these movements of the military personnel build up has been ongoing for the past couple of months. And this shows that Turkey is a vehement in terms of the uh, attacking these groups. Yesterday, we've been to Syria and we've heard the uh, attacks, the um, artillery units of the Turkish army started shelling these units for more than 40 times. So it is possible that an operation is imminent, especially that President Erdogan is always repeating that we cannot accept what the United States is doing on the ground by legitimizing these groups. These are still terrorist organizations that will attack Turkey if they have their independent entity. Ahmed, you've been in Syria visiting refugee camps over the last several days. What are the people in those camps telling you about how they could possibly cope with more internally displaced people if fighting does escalate? Well, we've come back from Syria, Sandra, just a, an hour ago, and we've been to one of the uh, newly established camps that is mainly set up by the AFAD, the Emergency and Disaster Management Authority here in Turkey, along with the Red Crescent. The people there are in dire conditions, especially those who were uh, uh, recently displaced due to the ongoing attacks in southern Idlib by the Syrian regime. Now, the conditions are terrible, as I told you, they find no sewage system, no potable water, no electricity. The AFAD is trying to handle uh, these coming refugees, but the number is uh, big. Uh, you're speaking about a 200,000 at least people who have recently been uh, displaced to this Idlib province that is already overcrowded with hundreds of thousands of uh, other displaced people. Conditions are completely catastrophic. People can find nothing in this, especially in this winter. All right. Looking forward to getting more updates from you on the movement of that Turkish convoy. Many thanks, Ahmed Albarai.